Hey guys, it's me again. It's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, my camera just really hadn't been working with me. So uh, I went out and I got a new camera. And I figured I would do a new video. So without any ado, let's go ahead and get right down into it. And I'll show you what I'm building. I have a tugboat. All right. Speaking of which, I love that about the tugboat. It's got the one O-ring. There's no deck for it to sit on. It just slides down right over it. Just that easy. Alright. So inside... You got your nice drip well. You got your three posts so you can do a dual coil setup. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing a dual coil with a 26 gauge canthal. Now I went ahead, or not 26, actually 22 gauge. Uh, since 22 gauge is extremely stiff, I went ahead and, re uh, went ahead and wrapped my coils beforehand. So... Did a four wrap. It's a decent size coil. Uh, and I did it around a 516th, I want to say, drill bit. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put this thing together. Get your first coil. And, uh, you see a lot of people, they say, leave one lead longer than the other. Well, it's true. The uh, reason why you do that is it, it just helps you guide the other one in. So. And my screw fell off. <laughs> well. I am completely okay with working this out on camera. I'm not going to go through any video editing process or anything of the sort. What you see is what you get. Yeah. I'm a no bullshit kind of person, pardon the language. Alright. Alright. So now that I have it started... I'm going to get my drill bit. I'm going to feed it through. And then I'm going to pull on the coil. Now I don't have it on a mod. Normally I do this on a mod. It gives me some stability. So... Now you see what you're fighting against when you use 22 gauge canthal. It's really stiff. Let me turn this to where you can see. It's really stiff. I mean, really stiff. I mean, even with all the torquing I just did on it and pulling, it barely deformed that coil at all. And when I put it on my mod and heat and glow it, I'll pinch it back together and it'll be right as rain. So this one I'm just going to pull out of the way. Right. Now we're going to insert the other. Two gauge is just stiff. There's there's some people out there. They're working with twenty gauge and eighteen gauge. I don't see how they're I don't see how they're working with it. 
22, 22 gauge is stiff enough for me. I did a I did a build a couple days ago on this particular atomizer. I did a four strands of 26 gauge canthal twisted together. Now, in order for me to actually get that to fit through the post holes, I actually had to drill it out. And if you don't do it properly, you can damage your threads. So I don't recommend you do that unless you know what you're doing. Um, not to say that I know exactly what I'm doing either. Alright. So... That's how it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, attempt to get as close to snipping these as you can. Now, with the thicker the gauge, the more likely it is to uh, spring off. Just like that. I'm not going to be able to find that one. Gotta be safe, close your eyes, point it away from you, make sure there's no kids around to get it stuck in their eyes. Now, that's not exactly the cleanest setup, but that's as close as I can get to the posts. So I'm just, I'm gonna move this out of the way, clean it up a bit. finish screwing it down all right see how this one's kind of offset to the side a bit I want it directly over that gap so I'm just going to uh, clamp it together and wiggle it over that's about where you want it to be the other one's just fine so now we're gonna put it on my mod today I'm putting it on the mutant 26650 and we're just gonna glow it make sure both coils are even height first And that looks to be about right. So, uh, normally I have a pair of uh, pointy snips, and I can get these wires up here cut a little bit closer. You really don't want those touching. So... gonna hold it all right so now we're gonna and there we go 
got a, a very nice glow to it. All right. With it being a thicker gauge canthal, it's going to take a second. So I'm going to zoom back out a bit. And uh, I'm going to unravel me some cotton. And I just, I roll it a little bit between my hands. My hands are really dry right now, so I hardly have any grip on it. little fuzzy piece right there on the tip all right just gonna fold that over and, twi and twist it now it'll slide right through no problems And that's all the more you need. <clears throat> so, I'm going to cut that portion off. And then, I'm just going to stuff it. Now, the cotton will become a whole lot easier to work with when you put juice on it. All right, but you'll notice right here, I like to keep that little pathway right underneath it. Because that's where the air is going to flow. All right, so you're just going to do the same to the other side. Piece of cotton to work with. Alright, what I'm doing right here, I'm just stuffing it down. And now, sure, we'll use that. Some fatality from the vapor hut.
want to get it good and saturated because your first dry hit on cotton mm. man that's terrible And now, she's hitting hard. Get in a little bit closer. Now, your air holes. I, they come pretty big stock on the tugboat, but I went ahead and took them out to one eighth. You want them, I don't know if you can see down in there, you can see the coil directly behind that hole. Alright, you want your both air holes like that. So, I'm going to go back and show you how it vapes. Vaping pretty hard. You're not going to get that many hits off of it with it burning that hot. Uh, I can almost guarantee you my coils are probably 0.17. Uh, my ohm reader's fried, so I'll have to check it when I get to work tomorrow. It's a very warm, very warm vape. So, we'll see about distance on it. That's about all the pull I can take off of it. As a matter of fact, it's drying my mouth out, so... It's, it's cooking pretty hard. So, there it is. Hopefully... This new camera does its job real well. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to upload. So thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. So thanks again.